Hi, here's the intro for the hormones, health and happiness talk or sugar, sex and stress. It's a thought provoking topic, no doubt. And as someone who promotes wellness through both a scientific and a spiritual lens, this hormones, health and happiness talk is designed to inspire you to learn more about your body, to provide insights into what your body's telling you and to support you with some of the things you may be experiencing at the moment. As a female founder myself and someone who has navigated my own journey through female wellness, I want to help those women who have been searching for answers and asking questions with some awareness of your uniqueness and caring for yourself. As always, when I do a talk, it does come with a couple of caveats. So firstly, this is not designed to be medical advice and should not be construed as such. I am not a medical professional and frankly, I wouldn't want to be the third leading cause of death in the Western world. But if you wish to make any changes, always consult your primary care practitioner first. Secondly, this is not designed to offend or get into gender politics. There are fundamental differences between males and females. I'm not here to debate your personal views or perceptions. I just want to help those who want to listen. And thirdly, it might be a little bit graphic and I make no apologies for being a straight shooter. But again, this is not designed to cause offence. I'm an Aries and for any astrologers in the house, you'll get what I mean. For everyone else, I like to get it done in the shortest possible of time. So without further ado, here are some insights into what will be covered in the full talk. So being a woman can quite frankly be a bit shit at times. I know you can all relate in some ways. I could stand here and bang on about how amazing it is to be a woman and don't get me wrong, it really is. But if you've been through childbirth, I'm told it can be a bit messy or experienced flooding periods or sweated your tits off during a hot flush or cried over treading on an ant or snorted an entire cheesecake around the time of the month, then you'll get where I'm coming from. I'm also secretly hoping this isn't just me. So, well, there's reasons that you feel all the emotions all at once and then crash in a heap. It's called your biorhythms. These sneaky little things are your natural cyclical biological rhythms that are influenced by everything that you do. Everything that you're around, everything you take in, everything. Your hormones are part of your endocrine system and that's just one of 11 body systems that all work synchronously and in an orchestral harmony to keep you alive. When something tips the balance, this has a knock-on effect. It's a bit like a waterfall or, you know, when you're flicking that first domino. Hormones are essentially chemical messengers that communicate messages to various parts of the body to pass on information. This information is then used to cause a response, usually increasing or decreasing something else, with the aim of keeping your body in balance or, as we call it, homeostasis. The further away your body gets from homeostasis, the more extreme the symptoms you experience. As a for instance, reducing your melatonin can lead to night sweats. No matter what phase of life you're in, you'll experience hormonal ups and downs. It's all part of being a woman. During perimenopause, your ability to produce progesterone reduces, mainly due to the stress response in the body, and so oestrogen takes over, which is both great and not so great in equal measure. For instance, oestrogen protects your heart and progesterone supports cognitive function. So when the levels are tipped, for example, you may experience brain fog or midsection weight gain. You don't just stop producing hormones, but the responsibility shifts from the ovaries to the adrenal glands. And this is where cortisol and adrenaline also originate from. Some of our issues as women can show up because of this. So... You see, when your body responds to a stressor, it releases cortisol and adrenaline as a way of getting you prepared for action and in order to keep you safe. It's your body's main priority, which is great if there is an immediate physical threat to you, such as like a wild tiger in the room that you need to either fight or get away from. Though if you're just watching a scary movie or you're sat there and you have a thought that evokes these feelings, it's not really overly helpful. Additionally, if there are low-level stressors that build up over time, it's not particularly helpful either. But because your hormones are now being produced in that same place that produces your fight-or-flight response hormones, your body is faced with an either-or situation. So you're constantly in that stressful state, then your hormones 
they're not going to be optimal for your stage of life. Make sense? But don't despair. You can make changes that have a positive impact on your wellness. They are cumulative and over time will make a difference. They're not overnight game changers, but wellness isn't about the short term. It's about optimising longevity rather than quick fixes and magic pills. If you'd like to learn more about yourself and how you can make better choices to improve your wellness, then join me for the Hormones, Health and Happiness Talk and see how you can transform your wellness. Join me, Tracy Richardson, therapist, energy healer and author, founder of Serendipity Wellness and creator of the Wellness Alchemy Method. I look forward to seeing you there. Love and wellness. Namaste.